Hello, patchonestripe.com TV repair parts. Your number one source for quality, hard to find TV replacement parts. Today, we're going to get into the Sony PlayStation 5, aka PS5. Uh, what we're going to talk about is maintaining your cooling system in order to prevent overheating and premature damage to your PlayStation 5 that also could lead to replacing your PS5. So what I'm going to show you, this could help you extend the life of your PS5. Okay? And so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into this video because I could show you better than I could tell you. Okay, first of all, what got me into this unit, uh, this particular customer needed all three USB connectors replaced. So on this particular module, replace the connector, and that'll save some cost, as well as doing the, the other two uh, USB connectors. So what we have here, this is the printed circuit board, and the process is, it is under there. Now, I've done uh, HDMI connectors as well as USB uh, re connector replacements on these units. So I've seen many circuit boards, but this particular circuit board, I hope you can see, it's a brownish, it's starting to turn a brownish discoloration in this area compared to the, the rest of this printed circuit board, the green. You can see you're starting to get a little brownish green start going on. And that comes from overheating. Instantly, that comes from overheating the components that's in the area they're getting overheated, they're not cooling properly. So now that leads me to, let's go to the other side. Look at that. Look at that. Now, all of this, this is a part of your cooling system. And as you can see, it's clogged up to the max. It, it, it really is. It's clogged up to the max. Look. Look at that. It's clogged up. So the cooling system is not breathing at all. See? So maintaining the cooling system this is important to keep these coils clean. Okay? They're a big part of the cooling system. You see these copper, copper rods right here? And they all down here, down here. That's to pull the heat away from the board. As well as uh, help to maintain uh, the microprocessor. So now, I'm going to jump away from this because I, 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 I think you've seen enough here. And you also saw what I did. So, I mean, if you get into it to this level, maybe it's something you could do yourself. I use a vacuum cleaner. This is just the brush tip for the vacuum cleaner to really do a thorough cleaning. All right. So now... Let's get to the fan itself. This is the fan. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. And, you know, all you moms and dads that lived in a college dorm when the heat goes, when the air go, AC goes out or you know, you had to rough it at some point in time, being young, just starting off. 
You know it's very important for a fan to work to keep those blades clean, to get cool air. It's, it's, it sounds like, oh, it won't make a difference, but you clean, that, you clean those blades in a fan, and uh, that air will be a whole lot cleaner. So this is what you also have. And this take time to get in here and clean these fans. I mean, just really clean them good. So over a period of time, this is what happens. You're not getting the airflow that's necessary to maintain the health of your PlayStation 5. Okay? Take another look at it. You don't want it to get this far. Okay? Even if it's working fine, everything, you know you've been running it for a while, send it to somebody. Take it to somebody if you can't do it yourself and get your cooling system cleaned. <laughs> or send it to me. I'll do it. So, this is another one, part of it, right here, and I've already cleaned this one. Once I started cleaning this one, <laughs> and it's not really a thorough clean, I just began to clean it. I'm like, well, let me do a video on this, and it may help somebody. So, there it is. Okay, so now, let's get to the case. Look at that. Look at that. It's filthy. Look at the look at the ventilation system here. Look at it. It's filthy. Now it's cheaper to just to pay somebody to do a professional cleaning on it or you do it yourself. Than to have to replace the unit. Because the unit is well built. Okay. Look at that. And once you have it apart like this. It's easy to get in here and clean all of this stuff out. Okay. So, and it's the same with the top part of the unit. Let me get that. See all the dust, dirt accumulating. And these are vents you need to clean out as well. Look at that. All that is obstructing airflow. Okay. So it's uh, well worth spending the time or the money to uh, to maintain <laughs> to maintain your uh, PS5 there she is uh, there she is it's the cover so and uh, in the future if you can't find anybody in your area to uh, clean your unit or replace connectors economically, uh, give us a try. Uh, you'll have to pay the shipping to and from along with our charge, but I guarantee you I'll make it worth it for you because you'll have a professional job done right. Okay, we, we've been into this uh, PS5 I'd say a total of two hours. Uh, we had the connector, USB connector, had to be replaced. These blue connectors had to be replaced. And I just want to show you all just the type of work that I do and it, two hours and it's steady at it. This is the same unit I showed y'all beginning 
in the beginning that was filled to this this is it the same one we went through there and cleaned it up and I just got a little something there but you know at the beginning of the video it was uh pretty bad and uh I want to show you some more this is the the fan that I showed you in the beginning Uh, and uh, here's the uh, the top here's the tops that I showed you in the beginning that's, that's, that's a house and we won't call it the housing because the white panels are the tops you all remember how how they look, I'm sure. And uh, here's the the other side with the power supply in it and everything. You remember that was clogged up with dirt and everything. So uh, this is the type of work that I do when a unit comes into my shop. Um, so for me to promise you, you could come back in an hour or two hours or something like that. Uh, by the other guys, you can imagine uh, the length of the work that and the time well, the work that's going to be put into your unit. But if I, every unit I get, this, this is how it's going to look. I'm not going to cut any corners. And this is the other part of the cooling part so uh, this PlayStation here is uh, pretty much ready to be reassembled pretty much ready to be re reassembled Okay, so I wasn't planning on doing all this, showing you all this in the of the video, but why not showcase my work in case you choose for me to work on your unit? So this is the complete job. We just need to go to and do the reassembly and. Wherever I see something while I'm uh, reassembling this unit, I'll touch it up as far as cleanliness and uh, check everything else out. Uh, so that's going to conclude this video. Patch1stripe.com, TV repair parts, your number one source for quality hard to find TV parts. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe because it'll be more. The more in depth we start getting with these units, the more I'll share with you for the do-it-yourselfers or anybody. So uh, with that being said, patch1stripe.com. I got to go. <laughs>